Hi, I'm Teresa Simmers. I'm one of the co-organizers for the Keystone Symposium on Cachexia and Wasting Syndrome in Cancer and Chronic Diseases upcoming in May in Nevada, California. Our vision in organizing this meeting was to bring together people of diverse interests on um, cachexia mechanisms and manifestations across different diseases, from cancer to COVID-19 to organ failure and sepsis, to bring all of these diverse perspectives together to weigh in on this common manifestation that leads to so much morbidity and mortality in human disease. The meeting is substantially different from other meetings on this topic, um, including the longstanding cancer cachexia meetings. And the breadth of its focus and its intent to bring people of a diverse expertise across the research spectrum together. This will be only the second ever meeting on cachexia sort of writ large in the United States. Cachexia is most um, intensely studied in Europe, um, but it is a wonderful opportunity to bring it to the U.S. What I'm most looking forward to is seeing how people who um, hail from different fields and are interested in different pathologies all interact together on this topic of cachexia. I'm really most excited about hearing from people who are coming from diverse perspectives, including Phil Efron, who studies persistent inflammatory immunosuppressive catabolic syndrome, which they call PICS after sepsis, and what we call cachexia in cancer. I think that the perspective of experts in critical care medicine with their focus on integrative pathophysiology will really um, inform and synergize with perspectives from a people who are more focused on specific tissues, such as tumors or muscle or adipose. So there have been a lot of exciting advances in cachexia recently, particularly in new mechanisms and new clinical trials. Um, some of these, including anti-GDF-15 strategies, are in current trials or others are still in development. So the attendees will get to hear from investigators who are at the absolute cutting edge speak about the challenges and opportunities in designing trials in this space and on the, interior, uh, the innovative approaches to these trials. Um, but what I really hope to see is that the short talks and abstracts um, bring earlier stage work uh, for mechanistic studies and novel therapeutic targets, as well as epidemiologic studies and big data. So I think that there are some interesting new um, perspectives that we will hear about from this meeting, um, from Stephen Heimsfield's work on digital health and regulation of body weight. Tony, we will be speaking on quantitative flexomics. So there's some um, tremendous new um, technological approaches, but I think the great strength of this meeting could be having people from different perspectives and different fields come together to weigh on in this common condition. Cachexia is a small and long neglected field, but wasting and rate of wasting correlate to mortality across a huge array of disease conditions. If we all come together on this topic, I think there's the opportunity to make some truly transformational advancements in our understanding and treatment of cachexia. I think that anybody who has an interest in inflammation and the systemic dysmetabolism of chronic disease, anyone who's interested in what's currently called tumor metabolism, but is I think better described as cancer metabolism, Anyone with an interest in muscle wasting and muscle health should attend. Um, I think this field is rather young, but it's always been propelled by collaborations among industry and academics, basic and clinical investigators. And I think there's a tremendous opportunity for everyone up and down the career spectrum and across the research spectrum to interact to really propel this field forward. I've attended a lot of Keystone Symposiums in my career and I've always found them invaluable for the networking, the knowledge gained, and the excitement that you get around the topic. So we have programmed in a career round table where um, younger or earlier stage investigators can meet with leaders in the field. This will be an invaluable opportunity to see what um, the field is doing and where things are going across um, the spectrum from academia to industry. Register now and submit your abstracts for consideration for short talks. We're particularly interested in people who are coming from different perspectives, people we haven't heard from before, people who can bring um, really new information or new insights or new techniques uh, to the study of cachexia.